You want me to guess what Kindred's about from the music alone? Let's try. hope in this piano. I'm looking at the login screen and I see a wolf and I see a woman and there's some sort of light coming from her heart or her soul. Perhaps these two consume souls. It's weird because the music starts off pretty hopeful, but then there's this section here where it's like, there's a bit of this, mm, they don't seem like they're good, but the, the classical components of this sort of are distracting me because it's so beautiful to listen to. that cello is so beautiful. That cello is all about depth. It's all about being grounded. The music plays with a bunch of different instruments. Kindred. There's a bond here. These two need each other. And it sounds like maybe the cello, that music is grounding and supporting the humanoid. That's kind of left me a little bit speechless, I have to say, because so there's there's a duet there, the cello and the piano, the piano being the small one, the cello being the big one. These two really have the, perhaps a symbiotic relationship where they need to be together. Now, obviously, some of the more fine details, uh, it's pretty difficult for me to maybe wrap my brain around. I am curious to see some more about them through their gameplay. But musically, I mean, this is out, out outstanding music, purely classical in a lot of ways, just based on the instrumentation alone. But that duet is really apparent to me. I'm sort of curious because there is this nefarious quality to the sound. It's not like a good sound, you know, you can hear the sort of malice and malevolence. And obviously I'm looking at this login screen picture and so there is this feasting occurring and they both seem to have some sort of, sort of soul aura, almost like they feast together. Some sort of luring is happening or some sort of trap. Let's check out the champion trailer for Kindred. Ram, tell me a story. There was once a pale man with dark hair who was very lonely. Why was it lonely? All things must meet this man, so they shunned him. Did he chase them all? He took an axe and split himself in two. So he would always have a friend. So he would always have a friend. Oh, they're two but the same? Let's watch the gameplay. Welcome to League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Kindred, the Eternal Hunters. Have they forgotten us yet, little lamb? All still know us, though they try to forget. Soon, we will remind them.
Kindred is the manifestation of death on Runeterra, and can only be seen in life's final moments. Lamb, the compassionate half, offers a merciful passing to those who accept death, killing victims with a swift and true arrow. Wolf, Kindred's savage and brutal side, terrorizes those who run from death, chasing and devouring their souls. In-game, Kindred plays the role of a mobile marksman who thrives in the jungle. They know will come. Yet they are never prepared. Wow, the manifestation of death. That's very cool how the two, well, the two need each other because they offer the same service, but one of them is the light side and the other one is the dark side in terms of of how it's done. Wow. Okay, well, I don't want to get too crazy into that. Let's look at the, let me read the lore. Separate but never parted. Kindred represents the twin essences of death. Lamb's bow offers a swift release from the mortal realm to those who accept their fate. Wolf hunts down those who run from their end, delivering violent finality within his crushing jaws. Though interpretations of Kindred's nature vary across Runeterra, every mortal must choose the true face of their death. Kindred is the white embrace of nothingness and the gnashing of teeth in the dark. Shepherd and the butcher, poet and the primitive, they are one and both. When caught on the edge of life, louder than any trumpeting horn, it is the hammering pulse at one's throat that calls Kindred to their hunt. Stand and greet Lamb's silvered bow and her arrow will lay you down swiftly. If you refuse her, Wolf will join you for his merry hunt, where every chase runs to its brutal end. For as long as its people have known death, Kindred has stalked Valoran. When the final moment comes, it is said a true Damasian will turn to Lamb, taking the arrow, while through the shadowed streets of Noxus, Wolf leads the hunt. In the snows of the Freljord, before going off to fight, some warbands kiss the wolf, vowing to honor his chase with the blood of their enemies. After each harrowing, the town of Bilgewater gathers to celebrate its survivors and honors those granted a true death by Lamb and Wolf. Denying kindred is to deny the natural order of things. There are but a wretched few who have eluded these hunters. This perverse escape is no sanctuary, for it only holds a waking nightmare. Kindred waits for those locked in the undeath of Shadow Isles, for they know all will eventually fall to Lamb's bow or Wolf's teeth. The earliest dated appearance of the Eternal Hunters is from a pair of ancient masks, carved by unknown hands into the grave sites of people long forgotten. But to this day, Lamb and Wolf remain together and they are always kindred. Wow. That's a really cool combination of death. And, and in truth, no, I could have never guessed that from the music alone. There are aspects of it that I think I gleaned, but certainly that's sort of intricate detail. You hear the cello of the wolf and you hear that bright piano of the lamb. That is there. And I think that that melody is incredibly powerful and incredibly engrossing. And honestly, I was so engrossed by how beautiful it was and how beautifully it was composed that I didn't even really stop to consider that they could be the essence of death or death itself, which is really interesting. More to come on League, of course. I really, really, really love this series. It's one of my favorites on the channel, and I hope that you're enjoying it. Check out this video of Fiddlesticks if you want to watch some more, and there's more in the playlist as well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.